Good morning, welcome back to today's video. I just had breakfast, got myself ready for the day, and I'm actually about to head out and go find us some new sheets for our bed. I will flip you around and show you why here in just a second. I actually got stuck in our sheets this morning. I went to turn off my alarm clock and I realized that I was underneath this huge hole. I'll show you guys, but it was so comical. So anyway, I have desperately got to go find us some new sheets. I may look for us like a new, not comforter, but kind of like a thicker blanket for our bed. So I'm excited to go look for those things. I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx first just because I wanna see if they have any fall decor out. Plus they always have really good prices like on their sheets and comforters. So I'll head there. If I don't find anything, I may go to Bed Bath & Beyond. That's actually where we got these sheets originally and they have been wonderful and held up for a really, really long time. Um, and then someone actually just told me that Sam's Club also has really good sheets. So I don't know, we're gonna go look for them and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. But this this is why I have to go find us a new set because it started out as like a tiny little tear and then this week it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and then this morning when my alarm went off I turned over to grab my phone and I was stuck inside this hole so anyway we've had these for like seven or eight years they've been wonderful so it's time for a new set Okay, y'all have to ignore all the stuff in my back seat. Bucky and I have been like really trying to clean out some stuff. So I have a ton of things that I need to take to Goodwill today, but I did not find any sheets in TJ Maxx. They had some, but they weren't like very nice. And you know, if I'm gonna sleep on these things for the next five to 10 years, I want them to be like really good sheets. So I think I'm gonna try Bed Bath & Beyond again. I did run into Ulta and I grabbed a few things. Let me show y'all. So I picked up this new Lancome mascara. I've heard a lot of people talk about it and say that they really like it um i love the monsoor big mascara from lancome so i'm excited to try this one i think instead of like volume this one gives you lots of length and separation so anyway i'll report back on how i like this and then i also just picked up some more of my first aid beauty um radiance pads i love using these like every day or every other day they just help to kind of gently exfoliate your skin and that way like my makeup plays a lot better and my skincare works better so anyway these are also really good okay i am back in sam's club they have these cute new waffle knit blankets they have this pink color and then gray and they're both so soft Okay, y'all, so Sam's Club for the win. So many people on Instagram um, sent me a message and told me to go check Sam's Club for sheets. And after having no luck at all the other stores, I of course ran into Sam's Club and they had great sets of sheets for what I felt was a very reasonable price. Um, for the king size, they were like around 70 or $75. And you get a fitted sheet, flat sheet, and then four king size pillowcases. And they are 100% cotton and they are 700 thread count. So they are really, really nice. So these are the ones that I got. They are the Hotel Premier Collection. And I doubt you can like tell, they almost have like this stripe to them. And they're just like a little bit off white, but I cannot wait to go watch them and then put them on our bed and then I don't think I filmed in Target but I did run in there I was looking for a birthday present and I actually found this beautiful quilt the color is perfection I love it and so I'm gonna actually put this 
on our bed as well. I think it's gorgeous. If I can find the link to this, I will link it down below for y'all. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna spruce up our bread, our bread room. <laughs> I'm gonna spruce up our bedroom and I'm so excited to see it like all come together. Um, so anyways, I will show you guys that by the end of this video. But in the meantime, I do wanna thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I've been doing a lot of shopping on ThreadUp lately. And if you don't know what ThreadUp is, it is one of the largest online thrift stores. They have all of your favorite brands like Old Navy, Target, Lily Pulitzer, Tory Burch, so many good brands to choose from for up to 90% off estimated retail. And now if you want a personal stylist for only $10. You can totally do that with a ThreadUp goodie box. So let me tell you a little bit more about the goodie box and about ThreadUp and show you what I got in mine. So if you want to upgrade your style without the risk, the goodie box is going to be perfect for you. You get to keep what you like and send back all of the rest of it for only a $10 deposit, but you're going to want to stick around because just wait till I tell you what ThreadUp is offering my followers. So for the goodie box, you're just going to go to threadup.com and fill out a style quiz and you're going to input your sizes, your favorite brands and styles. And then the stylist does all of the rest of the work for you. So if you love thrifting, but you don't really have a lot of time to hunt for things, I love that the goodie box kind of takes the work out of it for you, but it still feels like such a fun shopping experience. Just wait till you see all of these beautiful pieces I got. Y'all will have to help me decide which ones I need to keep. Okay, can we please talk about how cute and darling this dress is? It might be one of my favorite things that I got. And ignore the fact that I still have on my little leggings. I was so excited to try on this dress, I did not even take this off. But I can totally see this style with like a blue jean denim jacket and some little booties for fall. I love, y'all know, anything leopard print. But I think it's just so cool and unique that it's this color yellow. It's beautiful and it has this little like button detail right here absolutely adorable this is by a brand called willow and root and the estimated retail price is $48 and I paid it $21.99 okay absolutely adore this little top as well this is from J crew it has an estimated retail price of $89 and I only paid $19.99 for it it is so precious. I would totally pair this with a little cardigan. It would be so cool if I could find one in this little pink color. You can totally wear this to like date night and eat all you want to and have lots of room in there. But this is so precious. The deep V here is like very flattering. I absolutely love it. Another awesome thrift find. Okay, can we please talk about like date night, flattering, beautiful top. Oh my gosh. I thought that that dress was my favorite, but this actually might be my favorite. It is by the brand Free People, which is one of my all-time favorite brands. It is such a splurge, so I don't always get to buy it, but I can definitely buy it whenever it is thrifted. This top has an estimated retail price of $149, and I paid $52.99 for this. Y'all, this beautiful off the shoulder, oh my gosh, it is so flattering. And can we talk about these sleeves, like these beautiful bell sleeves, they are so fun. I love the blue and white pinstripe. This top is absolutely stunning. Next up we have this cute little Rachel Zoe top. I love this little tie up detail right here. And I think that this color will be really pretty for fall. So again, I can totally see this with like a denim jacket and it's a little bit longer, which is nice. So you can wear it with leggings or you can wear it with jeans and like some cute boots and y'all because this is a Rachel Zoe top the estimated retail price is $265 and I only paid $50.99 so talk about a still of a deal okay how fun is this cute little flirty bright hot pink dress this is so fun i love this little hem down here it's very flowy i can wear this with sandals it's really lightweight which is very nice considering it is so hot outside and i feel like this color just like speaks to my soul it is so bright and beautiful and the estimated retail price on this dress is 48 dollars, and i paid 21.99 for it so if you want to try the thread up goodie box and have a personal stylist pick out all kinds of amazing styles and outfits for you from all all of your favorite brands at a thrifted price then head down to my description box and click the link to completely waive the ten dollar deposit on your first goodie box okay so it is the next day now and it's actually like 
4 o'clock, 4.15 right now, and I am about to do a little bit of meal prep. I've had some chicken in the fridge for a couple of days, probably like two days now that's been marinating in my Italian dressing and honey mustard marinade, of course. And actually, a couple videos back, whenever I mentioned this marinade, um, I had so many questions that day asking, like, what are you talking about? What is this? So if you have not heard me talk about it or seen us make this, it is just literally equal parts Italian dressing and honey mustard. You don't have to be precise. You don't have to measure it out. Just dump it in your bag or whatever you're marinating your chicken in and then let it sit for like up to 24 hours. And I'm telling you, it will be the most delicious chicken you will ever eat. It's so good. So we have been needing to get some more propane for like an entire week now. We have wanted to grill chicken like every single night. Hence the reason that chicken is still in my refrigerator right now. And every night we're like, oh my gosh, we have no propane. We cannot grill. So finally today, I'm like, I gotta go get us some propane. So I went and got it, got back here. I've never hooked it up by myself, but pretty self-explanatory. So I got it hooked up and I let it run for a little bit. So it had some like propane in the line and I tried to turn on our grill and I could smell the gas, but the grill would not light. And that grill is really, really old. So it probably just like went kaput on us. And I really don't feel like having to um, hook the propane up to the Blackstone. So needless to say, I was like, how am I gonna cook this chicken? So funny enough, Bunky and I are actually filming an entire video with all kinds of air fryer recipes this weekend. So you guys will probably have seen that video before you even see this one, but I want to try and cook more things in my air fryer and experiment with it because you know, it's just so convenient. So anyway, long story short, I am going to try and cook these chicken breasts in the air fryer, see how they turn out. I also need to cook some potatoes. I'm going to do some asparagus and just kind of meal prep some lunches for me for the week. I'm trying trying to eat a lot healthier. So I think some chicken, potatoes, asparagus sounds so good. So let's get to cooking. Okay, scratch the air fryer. I don't know why I did not think about using our cast iron skillet. I actually love cooking chicken in this. So I think instead of doing the air fryer chicken, although I do wanna try that out sometime, I think I'm just gonna actually cook our chicken in our cast iron skillet. So I decided to do kind of like a mix of potatoes. I think it was in my last video, I was saying how I have been craving our roasted sweet potatoes. They are so, so good. So I definitely wanted to make some of those, but these little baby red potatoes were kind of on their last leg. So I knew they needed to be cooked. So I just cooked them both together and they turned out perfectly. But anyway, I just wanted to take a moment y'all and just tell you how thankful Bunky and I are for each and every one of you. If I do not tell you enough, y'all just like literally mean the world to us. You bring us so much joy and from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for watching our videos and always supporting us and just being so kind. We love you beyond words. Okay, so now to season these, Bunky doesn't like it whenever they are like too soggy. So instead of like pouring olive oil on there, I am just going to spray them with this olive oil spray. And then to season them, I'm gonna of course use some of my blends, so salt, pepper, and garlic. A little bit of crusher pepper flakes to give it just a little heat. Some ranch seasoning, of course and then a little bit of this smoked paprika as well. So I want these potatoes packed full of flavor. Okay, I take that back. I'm gonna do just a tiny little drizzle of olive oil because I don't want them to be like too dried out. Okay. 
Okay, so I had one more piece of chicken left, so I went ahead and started cooking that. Just tossed the potatoes. Daisy May, do you want to say hello? Are you getting a haircut on one day? Yes. <laughs> And then I also have this asparagus and this broccoli that both need to be cooked before they go bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up and then we'll get these in the oven as well. And hopefully y'all can hear me over that chicken cooking, but it has been so nice just to kind of go through our fridge and take out all of the things that need to be cooked before they go bad. Go ahead and cook them, use them for lunch. That way we're not like wasting anything. I feel like I need to do this like once a month for sure. Kind of just have like a fridge clean out, cook all of the things day. Okay, so I just took everything out of the oven. Sorry my camera died whenever I was finishing up um, the asparagus and broccoli, but I literally just cut them up, tossed them with a little bit of olive oil and put some of the blend on there. Pop them into the oven. Both of these cooked at 415 degrees. These took a little while, probably like, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. These of course only took about 12 minutes but they look so good. Potatoes look incredible. And y'all, I forget how much I love cast iron skillet chicken. Look at all of this juice. I've been like snacking on this chicken because it's so, so good. I couldn't help myself while it was like, you know, hot and ready. And these pieces of chicken are huge. They're from Sam's Club. So I did cut them up a little bit so that way I could kind of make like this little pile of chicken for one day, this one for one day you get the drift. So now it is time to assemble our lunches. Okay, seriously, how good do these look? I think I may even give one to Bunky if he's nice. <laughs> this was so easy and honestly, I feel like I do not take the time to meal prep often enough and I really should because it makes such a difference through the week. You can just grab it and go and you don't have to worry about what's for lunch. Just walked in the door, already eating my chicken. Mm. I told them that if you were um, nice, I'd let you take one of my Mills to no, work. They have that. Yeah. <laughs> I would appreciate that actually. It looks delicious. That chicken is so good, isn't it? Yes. I love the um I keep wanting to say black salt, but the cast iron skillet. Mm-hmm. That's some of the best chicken we've eaten in, in recent memory. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you. It's thank like you. That, monkey. It's like that. Dang, okay. People are gonna be jealous of my lunch tomorrow, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you pointing that thing? Um, nowhere in particular. Oh, the dinosaur? <gasps> you know? Well, I saw somebody comment the other day. Listen and to Daisy. I forgot to, I forgot to grab it since then. But you knew? I've known for like a day or two, but I, I still hadn't grabbed it. I, but I'm gonna go hide this on you now. Bunky, you have walked past, Daisy is howling. You have walked past that thing a hundred times and i just keep giggling to myself yeah easily a hundred times much you want you to pick her up okay we'll see if she'll is your dad home oh she's so sweet Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out Thread Up down below in my description box. Give this one a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.